Hey everyone, it's Comic Artist Pro Secrets, and I'm up all night working on um, a splash page for Hal Jordan. And I just, I mean, the news just keeps coming in here. The news just keeps coming in. Laura Dern just revealed a key detail that changes uh, her Star Wars character. Oh. Huh. Maybe it'll be that she has blue hair next time. Uh, this explains Vice Admiral Holdo's Holdo. Why don't you hold on my <sighs> Shocking ending. Uh, written by this fellow who looks like he should be holding a mugshot placard as he writes this complete and utter drivel um, from the first announcement that Laura Dern would be joining the Star Wars universe. Her character immediately became a fan favorite. Who? Well, fans. What do you mean immediately? It's Laura Dern in space. What could be better? I don't know. Laura Dern, not in Star Wars. That would be better. And I like Laura Dern. I like her. I like her uh, in Twin Peaks. I like her in Fire Walk With Me. I like her in... No, not Fire Walk With Me. I'm sorry. Wild at Heart. Um, I like her in Jurassic Park. I don't like this. I don't like this. That's because you're a bigot. No, it's not. I just don't like this. Looks stupid. <sighs> What could be better? Then we saw her purple hair and learned that she was a hero of the Resistance. We learned that, did we? Yeah. The Last Jedi's Vice Admiral Aimelin, is it Aimelin or Amelin? Holdo, is one of the most complex characters in the Star Wars universe. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah citation uh, required. What, what makes her complex? What do you mean the most complex characters in the Star Wars universe? Nobody cared. She showed up on the screen. She went <laughs> on the screen. Every time she was there, her presence was irritating. And uh, yeah, no, and it was, it was pleasant. It was actually pleasant when she left the screen. She's a terrible character. Um, she's a leader who's there to make the tough decisions. She's not there to be loved. Good, because she's not. She's not. She's not. Okay. I love you. Shut up. Yes, ma'am. Shutting up. Mm. All right. She's not someone who respects the flashy showboating of Oscar Isaac's Poe Dameron. Who cares? Who cares about any of these characters? Poe Holdo. Why don't you Holdo Poe Dameron? What, get, get out of here with all this nonsense. These are not real characters. This is not Luke Skywalker. This is not Han Solo. This is not Princess Leia. This isn't. This is not Boba Fett. These are fake Star Wars characters. My name is Schmo Ringo. I'm from. I'm Star Wars character. I'm very complex, beloved. My hair is green. Uh, Holdo is also mysterious, not just because she keeps her plans close to the chest, where there is ample room. Excuse me, but because of her minimal backstory and the celestial way in which Dern plays her. She plays, God, it's so irritating. This article, it turns out Dern had long conversations with the last Jedi writer and director, Ryan Johnson, who has a perfectly circular head about where Holdo came from. And according to a new interview with the Entertainment Weekly, uh, a character, the character could use the force. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, you can have purple hair and your character uses the force you can summon pixies, and you're, like, you would win American Idol. Like, that's how good you can sing. Yeah. Okay, I'll take the, I'll take the job. Uh, in their minds, and in their understanding of the origin story, we know that she was a true rebel in the Resistance. True rebel. And in our culture, we might have called her a hippie, Dern tells EW. But she was longing for peace and a revolutionary in that way. Well, that's good. That's good. We want a hippie revolutionary longing for peace. That's who we want commanding the troops, the resistance, in a movie called Star Wars, uh, in which the resistance is trying to overthrow a fascist regime. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be good. What other hippies uh, would we want to make four-star generals? Uh... Yeah, let's get uh, Jerry Garcia. General Jerry Garcia. Yeah, Vice Admiral uh, Jerry Rubin from the Chicago 8. Hey, hey, uh, Ben and Jerry. 
Ben and Jerry ice cream. They should they should lead the resistance against a fascist movement. By the way, why is every single hippie named Jerry? It's just a true fact. It's just a weird thing. All right, look. This is stupid. This is this is not. These people should not be making a movie called Star Wars. We want war. We don't want peace. <laughs> Uh, what is this here? Um, yeah, she wanted to be trained and led by Leia, who taught her everything she knew. Wow, she had the best friends. She wanted to come up in the ranks to support Leia's mission. It was all about Leia, but also had this otherworldly side that, that does involve the Force. Of course, that's not a stretch. Plenty of characters in the Star Wars universe have shown Force sensitivity, even if they do not actually wield lightsabers or practice the Jedi ways. Leia, for example, has a strong connection with the Force. As Dern tells EW, this explains why Holo was willing to sacrifice herself with the controversial lightspeed maneuver at the end of The Last Jedi. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, her primary goal was to protect the light to protect the Force, and to keep the revolutionaries alive. Darren tells EW, and I think the film speaks so beautifully to that with the last image of the next generation of the Resistance. You know? And you thought Laura Dern couldn't get any cooler. How? You... <clears throat> you wrote... What the f... You... I, I can't stand this generation. I really can't. A man wrote this line. That is unreal. This is the worst article I've ever heard. By the way, in order to get uh, Laura Dern to come and be a part of this, she had to be totally, like, entranced with her character. Like, she didn't want to be a part of this silliness. But, oh, your character is so special and directly related to best friends with Princess Leia. And they hug each other. And she's Force-sensitive. And she can fly. And she can... Uh, uh, teleport and what else can she do um she can talk to all the animals and um she knows everyone and everyone likes her and blah 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 blah, blah. and just when you thought laura dern couldn't get any cooler screw this may the force diversity be with you It's no secret at all that I couldn't do this channel if it wasn't for support from you, my subscriber base, and my Patreon donors. If you'd like to join this community by pledging a dollar or more per month, go check out the link in the description below. And I thank you.